Hello everyone, my name is Salar and you are watching JavaScript tutorials on SmartCode. This is our tutorial number 16 and we are learning data types in JavaScript. Up till now, we have covered undefined number and null data types and this is now time to start with a string. A string is important and very interesting data type and you will almost every time work with it. Moreover, there are so many things that we need to cover related to strings such as what a string is and how do we create a string variable. There are three different ways to do that in JavaScript and the nature of the string, escape sequences, methods, functions, etc, etc. So I'm not going to cover entire string in this tutorial. I just want to keep learning simple and will divide this whole topic in different tutorials. So we will start working with the string now and we'll continue with it in our coming tutorials, right? So this tutorial is just a start and you will learn what is actually our string, how do we create a string variable and the nature of a string in JavaScript, right? Are you ready? So let's get started. So let's first try to find out what is a string. String is also called text and you are well aware how text look like, right? Text is just a collection of one or more characters, right? For example, on the screen, I am writing some text like I am learning Java script. So what I wrote here is a string or a text. And what you see here is combination of characters. So a string is made up of characters. And here comes a question, what kind of characters? And the answer is 16 bits Unicode characters. 16 bits is equal to two bytes. That means every character in a string takes up two bytes space. And the total bytes taken up by this whole string can also be calculated. The formula is very simple. Count the number of characters and multiply them by two. But you don't need to do like that. There is an inbuilt function that we use to get the size of the string and we are going to discuss it later on. So now we can define our string in a proper way such as our string is a sequence of 0, 1 or more 16 bits Unicode characters. A string can have zero character and such a string is called empty string and we will look an example on that and if you don't know about Unicode I would suggest my tutorial on that and you can find it in my channel. So now you know what a string is. Let's now see how do we define a string variable in JavaScript. A string variable holds a string like this one and in JavaScript there are three different ways to create or string variable. You can use double quotes, single quotes and backticks. Right, so I'm going to create three string variables using double, single and backticks. Right, so what you see here, three string variables, str1, 2, and 3. And all of them holding the same string, I am learning JavaScript. Now look at the syntax. A string value must be surrounded by codes. And in JavaScript, you can use three different codes, double, single, and backticks. And there is no difference between them. All of them are interpreted exactly the same by JavaScript mechanism, right? You can use one of them to create a string type variable but single and backticks are very common in JavaScript programming. And you can simply print a string variable in the console just like other variable. And here you see the output in the console, right? And if you check the type of the variable, it would also be a string. And there you see the data type is a string. So this is how we create a string variables in JavaScript. And we will work with single and backticks in our tutorials. Now, what I said earlier, a string is a sequence of zero, one, and more characters, right? And these are the examples of a strings with more characters. And you can create a string with zero character, and such a string is actually called empty string. And you create an empty string like this. So this is a string with zero character. Remember one thing here, no space between the codes. If you put a space, then it won't be an empty string because space is an unseen character. If you put a space here like this, so there is a character inside the codes. 
and our string is not empty and now we actually have a string containing only one character right and you can put any other character instead of space like this so that is also a string with only one character right so i have showed you examples of strings with zero one and more characters now coming back to the empty string empty strings are very common in programming whenever you create a variable which is going to hold an string value later on in the program then you will initialize such variable with empty string just like we did here right if you don't initialize the variable with empty string then it will get the value of undefined and the data type would also be undefined right and undefined also means variable has not been assigned any value right so you will always avoid working with uninitialized variables and this empty string is actually a special string value and it will set the data type of this variable to a string you can apply type of on this variable the result would be string i'm sure so now you have seen and learned how do we create string variables in javascript and the last and very important thing that i'm gonna talk about is the nature of the string the nature of a string in javascript is immutable just like strings in other languages such as c sharp and java and if you're on a job interview you can be asked to explain string immutability so it's a very important concept that you need to understand and i will explain it to you with the help of on screen images so let's first create a new string variable Right, so now we have a new string variable msg and this is the value now a string immutability means this value can't be modified or changed and it doesn't seem true at this moment because i can modify this value like this so the value can easily be modified then why do javascript say strings are immutable and they can't be modified javascript says this because immutability is actually a background process not a foreground process right so when you modify a string value in the program something happens behind the screen in order to understand what's going on in the background you need to take a look at this image on the screen so what you see here is a background process we have a variable named msg and it is assigned a string value which is welcome to my world right and this value must be placed somewhere in the memory and the memory that javascript using for a string type variable is stack memory right and the string value which is placed in the memory is also called a string object and this variable is actually a reference variable because it is holding a reference to this object and when you print this variable in the console javascript is gonna fetch this string value or string object from the memory right so this string object that you see in the memory is immutable you can't modify this string object and if you try to modify this string object in the program modifications will not be applied here javascript is gonna create another string object somewhere in the memory with modified string and then javascript will destroy this string object so let's first make a small modification in the string that we have in our program let's say i modified it and put high in the string now take a look what javascript did in the background instead of modifying this string object javascript created another string object with modification somewhere in the memory and shifted variable reference from this string object to this one and once it is done javascript is gonna destroy this whole object from the memory because it is now useless right so the because of this entire background operation the creation of new string object with every modification and destroying of the old one we say strings in javascript are immutable right i hope now you understood the concept of string immutability the concept is straightforward whenever you modify a string in the program a new string object is created in the memory that's it right so in this tutorial we started with understanding a string then you learn how to create string variables in javascript and finally we looked into the string immutability concept right so we will continue discussing a string in our next tutorial because there are so many things we need to cover
I will see you there and thanks for watching.